Good morning, Franklin. Good morning, Jesse. How are you? I'm fine. Thank Excellent. you. Excellent. Nice to see yes. you. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Welcome to class. Hi, Exa. Hi, good morning. Morning. How are you today? Morning, Sophia. I'm very well. Sophia and I saw Carla, Joanna. Very good. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Are you doing okay? Is everybody doing okay? Can you hear me? Yes. Excellent, very good. Okay, so guys, uh, we're going to continue talking about passive voice, okay? Because for some of us, it's not a very easy topic, okay? So yesterday was the introduction to passive voice, okay? So if you didn't like understand it very, very well, don't worry because today I will explain it again. We will do some more exercise. Well, we'll see more examples and we'll see more exercises, okay? So you don't have to worry about, oh no, I didn't understand it, all right? So that's what we're going to be doing today, especially because yesterday we didn't have some classmates, all right? So we need to see that and they need to learn how to do it, okay? So let's see, Sophia, you were not in class yesterday, right, Sophia? Good morning, no, morning. I didn't. You didn't join the class yesterday, okay, that's fine. Franklin, you didn't either, right? Hola, hola. Hi. Hi, you were not in class yesterday, Franklin, or were you? No, no. No, right, okay, very good, okay. Um, just to remind you guys, if it's possible for you to turn on your cameras, I would appreciate it. If, if it's not possible, it's okay, but try to do it so I can communicate better with you, okay? Very good. So Carla's also coming in, all right? So we're going uh, to start anyway. So yesterday for Franklin, Sophia, and I think Blanca was not with us either yesterday, 
yesterday we were talking about uh, we were talking about passive voice all right i was telling your classmates yesterday that passive voice is another way to express the same idea as we do in the active voice okay so for example i can say i don't know um carla eh, writes a letter all right that is active voice active voice is the normal english we speak okay but if i switch it to passive voice then i have the the letter what is or was written by carla all right so if you notice i make a switch of the positions of many things okay all right so passive voice is important because many many things in english are in passive voice and we need to understand it okay um it is also important to know that in passive voice who does the action maybe is not necessary maybe it's not important or maybe we don't know okay so for example if i'm in the bus all right and i have my cell phone okay and then my cell phone is gone all right i come to you and say hey guys look my cell phone was stolen that's passive voice and then you say oh no jessica by whom i don't know by who was in the bus i don't know right so in passive voice who does the action is not known it's not important or it's not necessary in the example of my my cell phone was stolen i don't know who did the action i don't know who stole my cell phone all right or i can say uh someone stole my phone all right so there are many ways to say the same idea in english all right uh using passive voice or active voice i'm gonna take you right now to the video of the platform because i want i want you to see it and then i will show you another powerpoint presentation which by the way i can share with you on the whatsapp group if you want to okay so if you want me to uh send the presentation i will gladly share it with you okay so right now i'm going to share the uh, video that is on the platform not the complete video only part of the video okay so just let me get it here i don't know guys if you have any questions so far about what i'm talking about does anybody have any questions No, for me. Okay, thank you. Thank what you. About, what, all thank right, you. very good. Okay, I'm just going to share this. Hold on, I just need to uh, advance this here. All right, here. Hold on, guys, this is like stuck. <laughs> Anyway, all right, so you know what we're going to do? We're going to go the other way around. We're going to see the, uh, because uh, for some reason, my video is not lo loading up. Hi, Claudita. Good morning, Claudia. Good morning. All right, so I'm going to share this with you better, and then I will show the, the uh, video that is on the platform. It doesn't matter the uh, order. Okay, so here we have passive voice, okay? It's pretty much the same thing that we did yesterday, but better explained because it's, it takes you step by step, okay? Just in case you didn't really understand it well yesterday, okay? So here we have it, guys. It's passive voice, all right? So the stage is open up, opening up for you here. All right, so here we have passive voice. Franklin, can you read this for me, please? Franklin? Sorry? Can uh, you read this for me? Yes, thank you. Okay. Um, the passive voice um, is used when the... Object? When, when the object is more important than the, than the person or thing who does the action they're using by. All right, thank you, Franklin, very much. All right, so remember, passive voice is used when the object, my cell phone, 
all right remember my sentence my cell phone was stolen my object is more important than the doer of the action all right i lost my cell phone so that's like no right that's not nice you guys it's expensive or we have many information or we have many pictures cell phones are very important for us all right so the object the cell phone is more important than the person than the doer of the action in this case probably the doer of the action is this guy that or this girl that i don't know all right and it's a not not a good person by the way so here we have so remember the object is more important than the person so the emphasis changes all right now here we have examples we have active voice sentences in simple past remember when i say active voice is the normal english we speak all right that's active voice okay number one claudia can you read the first example for me please okay, number one the teacher dropped the pen excellent very good sophia can you read sentence number two peter invent two new computers all right peter invented two new computers excellent uh carla joanna can you read sentence number three peter show wrote a book excellent very good thank you carla so if you notice all these three sentences guys they are one inactive voice second they're in simple past how do i know that these are in active voice because it's normal english all right you have the subject here at the beginning you have the verb in simple past and you have the complement or you have the object okay what is the object of this of this sentence guys what is the object the pen the pen, pen. very good the pen is the object all right what is the object on this second sentence new computers Computer. perfect very good excellent guys what is the uh, object on this sentence right here a book. A, book. a book very good you guys are getting it all right super you see what you got this morning this is what what you have for i have for you this morning you have a sticker super <laughs> all right nice way to go guys very good okay so very good so now we have the active voice sentence subject verb object for complement simple past because we're talking about passive voice simple past oh simple i mean passive voice can be simple present simple past future whatever all right but right now we're studying passive voice simple past okay so you need to remember that all right so here we say ah the pen is the object the new computers is the object uh, the book is the object okay i understand that all right let's continue here now we're gonna switch it to passive voice okay and this is what we have the teacher remember the teacher dropped the pen this is sentence number one guys okay i'm gonna take you one sentence by sentence by sentence so you understand okay if you have questions please say jessica i really don't understand or can you repeat again and i will do it all right don't worry about it okay so here we have the teacher dropped the pen the teacher is the subject, all right? But now in passive voice, I will switch the position, okay? The teacher goes at the end of my sentence because it's the doer, all right? It's the subject. It was the subject. The teacher goes, oops, here at the end, all right? Now I have this uh, empty space and I have another empty space right here. Mm -hmm. So what is going to go here, guys? What do you think is going to go here? Let me see. I'm going to ask someone here. Uh, Blanca, what do you think is going to go on the first space here? The pen. Excellent, Blanca. Very good. The pen. Very nice. Okay, let's see if it's true. Blanca. Very good, Blanca. Good for you. Very good. All right, let's see. Then we have uh, Senia. What would go in the middle here, Senia? Drop. Drop it. Dro ah, dropped. But very good, Senia. Dropped. But, yeah, dropped. Very good, dropped. But we need for passive voice, we need was or where. Where. Ah, OK. 
Okay, so was what are we dropped. Excellent, very good. Was dropped. Why was and not were? Why do I choose? The third one? person? Yes, the third person of the pen or the teacher? The pen. Excellent, very good. All right, so you need to understand that too. The, uh, the, the B verb will depend on this one right here, okay? So if this is singular, you're going to choose was. If this is plural, you're going to choose? Were. Were, very good. And then you guys said it's going to be was, oops, was dropped. We're gonna see that, okay? So this is the pen. I was asking you, was or where? And then you say, oh, was, because it's only one, right? So very good. The was, very good. And what is the past participle of dropped? What is the past participle of dropped? Drop. Drop. Excellent, yes, it's Drop. already past participle, right? It's the same. Drop, past participle, dropped, okay? So here we have, look what happened here. The pen became the new subject, all right? The, the verb is in the same position, but you added was, because it's only one, and then the teacher, went all the way to the back, which is the agent or the doer of the action. You see the cross, guys? Do you see the cross happening here? There's a, criss a, a, a crisscross here, all right? That's very important for you to understand, okay? Do you have any questions, especially for the guys that were not in class yesterday? Do you have any questions so far? No, no questions? Seguros, don't be shy. <laughs> All right, if you have a test today, todos sacarían 10. Everybody would get a 10 on passive voice? Yes? <laughs> Maybe? Uh, yeah, uh, Exa says yes. He would take 11, right, Exa? Very good. All right. All right, so it's very good. Let's do second example. Do you want to do a second example? Yeah? All right, let's do the second example here. So here we have, just to like um, reviewing, active voice, remember the teacher dropped the pen. Passive voice, the pen was dropped by the teacher. Am I saying the same idea? Is this the same idea happening? Am I conveying the same meaning? In sentence number one and in sentence number two, am I saying exactly the same thing? Mm, no. no. No? Yes. Yeah, I am yes. saying exactly the same thing, but in a different way. Yes? All right, so that's, yes. that's, yes, that's the idea, all right? You're saying exactly the same thing, but in a different way, all right? It's like when you say eight times two or two times eight is the same result, all right? You understand that, guys? Yes? Okay. All right, very good. Let's do sentence number two. You will help me with this one. Peter invented two new computers all right i did this for you by peter all right someone that has not um participated yet all right maria araceli what would go here on the first space two new computers two new computers very good all right two new computers all right, so let's say, very good. Thank you, uh, Maria Araceli, very good. Excellent, you're gonna get a sticker. Veronica, what would go in the middle? Mm, we're invented. Excellent, Veronica, we're invented. Vero, why were and not was? Was or were for the because two new two compares. <laughs> Because it is Where? plural. Excellent. Because you have? Uh, two two yeah. new computers. Because you have two. Very good. Nice. Where? Okay. So we chose where. And what is the past participle of invented, guys? What is invented. the past participle? Invented, right? Because it's a regular verb. Very good. Okay. So invent, past participle, invented, all right? So here we have two new computers were invented by Peter, all right? 
Now, this is your passive voice sentence. Here we have, oh, you see, I want you to pay attention to this. Sorry, guys. The cross again, all right? It's important for you to see the cross, okay? And then you have active voice, Peter invented two new computers, or two new computers were invented by Peter. Now, in passive voice, you can say, two new computers were invented, and it's okay. Or, two new computers were invented by Peter, and you tell me who did the action, who invented the computers, okay? Any questions so far? Okay. All right, very good. No questions? Nobody? Sinia, no questions? Vero, Karen, Carla, no questions? Giovanni? Hi, Giovanni. All right, very good. No questions, guys? Vanja, Vanja is that how no. you pronounce your name? No, it's Vanya. Vanya, all right. I'm sorry, Vanya. Thank you. All right. Uh, Vanya, no questions? Giovanni, no questions? Sinia, no? No teacher. No Excellent. Teacher. Very good. Okay. Let's do example number three. And then I will give you some exercises. Okay. Uh, oh, look at this one. Hold on. What did I do? Hmm. I did something wrong. That's okay. You know what? We're doing, we're going to do it the other way around now. Okay. A book was written by Bill and Tom. All right. So here is, is it a passive or active? Passive voice or active voice, guys? Passive voice. Passive voice. Passive voice. It's already on passive voice, all right? Okay, so what was the switch? What was the switch we made? What happened here on this sentence? What is the switch we made? What was at the beginning before? Any ideas what was at the beginning? Bill and Tom. Bill and Tom, very good. Yes, Bill and Tom. And then what was the what was the uh, verb? It's right there anyway. Wrote. What was the road? Yes, because it's simple past. And then you had what? Wrote it. Right. Okay. Yeah. And what did they write? Did they write a magazine? Did they, ah, a book, right. A book. Yes, very good. So if you want to, guys, you can have active voice or passive voice, and it's the same thing. All right, you're saying exactly the same idea here. Okay, ready? Here, I'm going to show you something else. All right? Uh, here we say, Alfred Nobel invented the dynamite. Okay, I'm going to give you one minute, all right? Try to do this one in passive voice. Alfred Novel invented the dynamite. That is active voice, okay? On your notebook, can you write this sentence in passive voice right now? And I'm going to stop sharing. All right, do it right now. Alfred Novel invented the dynamite. Switch it to passive voice, please, right now. The dynamite was invented by... Alfred, 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 Alfred Novel, Alfred Novel. Yeah. All right, very good. Excellent, excellent. Very good. You see, Exa, this is for you. Great. Yay, Thanks. you got another sticker. Very good. All right, very good. So, uh, the dynamite was invented by Alfred Novel. Yeah, very good. All right. So, in that sentence, Exa, what is the, op I mean, what became the new subject? What became the new subject when you say the dynamite was invented by Alfred Novel? The dynamite. The dynamite. What is important, uh, Maria Araceli, on the sentence? The dynamite was invented by Alfred. Is the dynamite more important than Alfred or Alfred more important than the dynamite? What do you guys think? What is more important on that sentence that Exa told us? The um, for, for Alfred Nobel. Mm, are you sure, Maria? The dynamite was invented by Alfred Nobel, all right? What is more important, the object or the doer? The object. The object, very good, okay. So the difference, thank you, Maria. The difference between active and passive is on the active, what is more important is the doer of the action. Alfred Nobel, all right? What he okay. did it, whatever, right? On the passive voice is the other way around. On passive voices, the object becomes more important than the doer. 
as my example, right? I said, oh no, so, uh, my, my cell phone was stolen. My cell phone is important, all right? So that's the object. And it happens to be the new subject now, all right? Do you have okay. any, thank you, Maria. Do you guys have any questions? No questions? Let's do some exercises then, all right. We have like, I, I explained everything again, just to make sure that you guys understand. And then I'm gonna share with you some exercises here, all right, let's see. Okay, this is just for you to have a reference. These list here, guys, these are um, regular verbs. All of these are regular verbs, all right? Remember that for regular verbs, simple, past, the past participle, they are the same, all right? Always, all right, only the ed, okay? Do you know the pronunciation for the ed uh, endings, guys? Do you know the pronunciation for the ed? There are three pronunciations, remember that? Do you know that? Yes. Yeah, all right. Teacher, okay. teacher please. Yes. Yeah. Please repeat the pronunciation. For this one? Or for yes, the three the, pronunciations? The, yes, the okay. three pronunciations. Yeah, of course, yes, very, uh, very well, okay. Remember that um, for regular verbs, you have three pronunciations. You have id, like wanted, needed, all right? Id, that's the pronunciation. Second pronunciation is like t sound, all right? For example, um, you can say kissed. I kissed, you don't say I kissed you, right? You say I kissed the baby, kissed t sound. It's like a t sound and then the t sound, all right? When you say, um, I don't know, I begged, all right, d, d, right? Or I followed, that's the d sound, all right? So there are three different pronunciations that you need to remember. Not, you, you cannot say help it, carry it, want it, play it, walk it, listen it, love it. No, that's horrible, all right? So the pronunciation is very important here. So this one will be helped, carried, Wanted, it's not wanted, that's in Spanish. The pronunciation is not ed, it's id. Do you hear the difference? Pronunciation is very important, guys, here, all right? Wanted, all right? Played, walked, listened, loved, washed. See, it's a T sound. Do you hear the difference between washed and loved? Yes. Yeah. All right, if you can, you can put your hand on your throat and you say, Washed. It doesn't have to vibrate. No, it doesn't have to vibrate. You don't. Have, it doesn't. You, nothing happens here. But if you say love, d, 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 there is vibration here. All right. So loved, washed. All right. Stopped. You don't say stop it. You say stopped. All right. The car is stopped. The class is stopped. Looked. Asked. All right, opened, studied, cried, worked, started, lived, watched, liked. All right, so pronunciation is very important. If you want, I said at the beginning, if you want, when we finish the class, I can uh, upload this presentation to the WhatsApp group. And if you want, I can upload the chart for the right pronunciation of ED sounds, okay? Do you want that? Do you guys want the presentation on the chart? Yes, right please. Yes. Okay, very good. I would, when we finish the class, I will send it to you, okay? Yes? All right, nice. now, thank you. All right, so here we have, remember, these are regular verbs, and these one are irregular verbs. For the past participle, they change completely. So go, gone, eat, eaten, see, sin, bite, beaten, break, broken, buy, boat, come, come, do, done, drink, drunk with a U, fall, fallen, find, found, get, got, teach, taught, tell, told, ca uh, catch, caught, blow, blown, bring, brought, wake, woken, dig, dug, draw, drone, lose, lost, fight, fought, and fly, flown, and think, thought. These are just a very, like, few verbs that you need to know. There are many, there are a thousand verbs, okay? And it is important for you to know simple present, simple past, and past participle because we use it a lot. And for passive voice, we need 
a past participle verbs, okay? So this is just a reminder for you to study your verbs. Let's continue here, okay? This is what I want you to do. Can you guys take a picture of this right now, please? Yes. Excellent, very good. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing. What I want you to do is I want you to think with your classmates, make a sentence, okay? Well, you know what? I'm just gonna show it to you again here so you understand it. So make a sentence on passive voice, simple past. First is the object, then is the verb, all right? With the, the to be, the past of to be plus past participle, and then the doer. If you don't know, invent it. You can say, I don't know. For example, if I have the car, the car was invented by Giovanni, all right? It doesn't matter if you don't know the doer, all right? I just want you to put in practice the passive voice sentences, so four sentences, very quickly, okay? Do you understand what you're going to be doing? Uh, yes? Teacher. Perfect. Yes. Uh, passive voice in simple present or pass on simple past? Simple past, Carlita, all right? Okay. Right now we're studying a passive voice, simple past, all right? So you're using was or where plus past participle, okay? Got it? Very good. Four sentences, I'll give you two minutes because that's like super quick, all right? And then we're coming back and we're going to do some more exercises so you understand it better here. All right, here we go. I'm going to be checking on your groups. You can join your groups now. Sophie, Carla, Karen. Sophie, Carla. Hi, do you have a problem? Karencita, can you join your group or no? Hi. Hi, were you able to join your group? No. No, I you, did, can. you didn't have the invitation, Karen. Can you? Yeah, send it again, please. Yes, right now. Oh, you know what? Hold on, just give me one second. I think seniors coming back out. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. You know what, Karen and Senior, can you work in this group? Okay. And it's, yeah, very good. Um, Senior, hi. Can you stay with Karen here because Karen had a problem joining the group? Okay, teacher. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to go check on the other groups. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay. Thank you. So, a ver, foco. Eh, mire, acá dice eh, foco spotlight. Ah, hi. <laughs> Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hi. Uh, do you know how to say foco? Spotlight. Yeah, but that would be foco as in like uh, the attention. For example, if you're on a stage, that's your spotlight. But foco normal is a light bulb. Ah. Uh, light bulb. B-U-L-B. Bulb. Light bulb. B-U-L-B. That's okay. right, Maria. Very good. Light bulb. Light Very good. Bulb. Yeah, nice. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Light bulb. Okay. The light bulb mm -hmm. is invent. Is remember that you're doing simple past, okay? Okay. Invent. What is this uh, past participle if, of invent, guys? Invent. Invented, invented. Don't be afraid to say invented, all right? Invented. Invented, yes. Because of the pronunciation, okay? The light bulb was invented, uh-huh. Was invented by... By Giovanni. <laughs> uh, yeah, very good. <laughs> Okay. 
The light bulbs invent, uh, was, the, you buy. was invented by Giovanni. Okay, number two. Okay, number two. The airplane. Airplane. Invented by. Was invented. Do you do you know? Do you need words? No, I know. <laughs> I won't tell you. Right. Brother White. The Wright brothers. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, the Wright the the the, the, the White brothers. Yes. The Wright. Uh huh. The the Wright brothers. Sorry. Yes. Thank you, Barbaro. <laughs> <laughs> he knows about history. Yes. All right, I'm gonna go check another group, okay? Hi, Blanca, hi, Vero. Hi, teacher. My ball was... Hi, teacher. Oh. Now, uh, Blanca and Veronica, the verb broke, what is the past participle of broke? Broken. Excellent, all Broken. right, okay. What about flu? Flow. Flown, yes, very good. O W N. Excellent. Very I'm good. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's okay. In the in the past, the verb. In the past participle. In the past participle. Yes. Okay. Very nice. The. Okay. The telephone was. Answer. Answer. Answered. Very good. What is Answer. Answer. By Berito. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> hi, Exa. Hi, Vanya. The light bulb was hi, invented teacher. by Thomas Edison. The airplane was teacher. driven by a pilot. Oh, hi. Uh, the telephone was used by Vania and Facebook was stolen by <laughs> Oh my goodness. All yes, right. Yeah, too. I know, I know. Yeah, I think so. All right, very good. Uh, check number two, guys. The airplane was driven by a pilot. That's perfect because it's passive voice. You're using was, you're using the past participle of the verb, but the airplane is not driven, it's flown. Oh. The car can be driven. The motorcycles can be, uh, you ride the butters, the motorcycles, and the Whoa. airplanes, you fly them, flown, uh, uh, F-L-O, yeah, W-N, N, flown, yes. Oh, okay. Great. Uh, okay. Yes, Done. all right, yeah, very good. So you're finished? Yes. Perfect, excellent, very good. So give me one more second, because there's one group that is not finished yet, okay? Okay. So I'm going to go check that one. All right, let's see, who was it? It's Thank you. Uh -huh. Hi, Carla. Hi, Claudia. Hi, morning, teacher. Hi, morning. How are you girls doing? Doing okay? Mm, okay. We think that, that okay. <laughs> we're okay. <laughs> okay, can, can you tell me your sentences right now, please? Um, uh, the first is uh, the poll. Okay. The ball was in, invented by Osmani. Okay. <laughs> All right. Very good. Yeah. What about number two? Um, the airplane uh -huh. was first flown by Carla in 1985. Wow. Super, Carla. <laughs> <laughs> and the nice. active, yes, uh -huh. and the active boy uh, in 1985. Carla flew the, the first airplane. Super, very good, Carlita, <laughs> very nice. Okay, what about the other sentence? Do you have sentence three? Yes. Okay. Uh, in the active voice, Ileana bought a new telephone. Okay, all right. In the passive voice, the telephone was bought by Ileana. Excellent, very good, nice. And do you have the last sentence? No. Uh, we don't have to. 
All right, okay, very good. But you guys are doing great. See, see here you go. Good work, very good, girls. very good, nice, nice job, all right. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, we're gonna go back, but you can finish, you can finish this sentence and then you can join the, the main group, okay? okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Zuckerberg. El primer nombre. El de Facebook. Mark. Mark. Mark Zuckerberg. Eh, invent. Uh, invent. Uh, Facebook. That is active voice or passive voice? Carly Danza. Active. Ajá. And passive voice. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, Facebook was invent invented by Mark. Excellent work. Uh -huh. Very good, guys. Very nice. Okay. So, Osmani said no, right? He was, he, he got stolen by him. <laughs> All right. So, who invented it, Exa? Who really invented Facebook? The idea is of another two person. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, my goodness. But Mark got the credits for it. Yes. Oh, that's yes. not fair. <laughs> Now he's a billionaire or millionaire, I don't know. All right, yes. very good. That's why I, I don't use Facebook. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, guys, let's see. What do you have for number one? Um, Franklin, are you, is Franklin in class or he left? Yes. Oh, no, Franklin, you're here. Thank you. Franklin, can you tell us number one, please? Yes. Um, uh, the light bulbs invented by Thomas Edison. Okay, the light bulb invented. What is the verb to be invented. that you're using? Yes, yeah, that's okay. Are you using was or where for that one, uh, Franklin? Uh, was. Was invented. Uh, Excellent, Franklin. There you person. go. See? Great. Yeah, very good. <laughs> All right, nice. All right, let's see. Um, what about number two? Who wants to do number two? A volunteer, please. A, number, a volunteer for number two. Sentence number two, don't be shy. I need to hear your sentences. The airplane, uh -huh. Yes? The airplane was flown by a pilot. Yes, the airplane was flown by a pilot or someone else has it differently. Thank you, Exa. Here you have your wow. Wow, sticker, very good. All right, someone else has the uh, another sentence similar to the airplane or for the airplane. Uh, teacher. teacher? Yes, go ahead. Uh, maybe the... Well, I, I want to change the, the name. That's the great. airplane was first flown by Ileana in <laughs> 1985. It was by Carla. All right, very good. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> very nice. Thank you. All right, let's see. Gabi, can you do number three about the telephone, Gabi? Please. Gabi, no? Hi, hi, hi. Number three, Gabi, know. for the telephone. That's okay. Okay. Uh, the telephone. Uh, the telephone was invented by Alexander Graham. Oh, very good. Yes, by Graham Bell. I think it was. Yes. All right. Very good. Nice. Thank you. Someone else has a different sentence for the uh, telephone. Uh, the chart. Yes. Oh, okay, it's okay. But I don't know if it is good. Okay, tell me, tell me, that's fine. The telephone was used by everyone this morning. Oh my goodness, nice. Very good sentence, very good, nice, very good. All right, let's do the, the Facebook one. The controversial Facebook. Uh-huh. Someone? Me. Well, Facebook was was stolen by. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Facebook was stolen by Mark. Very good. Okay, very good. I don't know, Maria. You want to do another one, or Vania, or Sinia? Um, I I. Uh -huh. The Facebook Facebook was invented by Mark Zuckerberg. All right, very good. Oh, was created. All right, it was very good. Thank you. All right, very good. I know, I know, Alexa, it's, it's difficult. <laughs> the other guys didn't get the credit. Very good. Okay, excellent, guys. Do you have any questions so far? No questions? We're doing okay? 
You understand it better than yesterday? Yeah? Yes. Excellent. Let's continue here then. Let's see what we have. What else we have here? Ah, okay. So here we have, this is what we just did. So we have the telephone was invented by Alexander Graham Bell. Uh, the dynamite, we already saw that it was invented by Alfred Nobel. We had the uh, airplane was invented by uh, the Wright brothers, all right? And then we had the light bulb was invented by, was it Edison? I think so, right? I don't know about this. All right, let's go on here. Okay, so here we go. We're not gonna go to groups right now. I want you to work here. This is what I want you to do. I want you to come up with your active sentence and your passive sentence for number one and number two. We're not gonna go to groups right now, we're gonna stay here. So here is the subject and this is the object and the other way around for passive for both sentences. Let's start working right now, let's see what you have. Write them please, I want you to write them so you practice your writing and your spelling. Do you know what to do? Do you understand what you're supposed to do? It's raining a little bit today by my house. Is it raining by your houses? No. It's raining by my house a little bit. Let me know when you finish, okay? So we can check your sentences, both active and passive. Finish. All right, very good. What about the rest of you guys? Girls, have you finished? Frankly, finished? I finished. Excellent. Okay, let's see. Let's see what you have. Um, someone to do the active sentence first for number one. I need a volunteer, only one. Uh, me too. Okay, Claudita, thank you. Uh, in active. Yes, please. Roberto Cook, a turkey. Excellent, Roberto cooked a turkey. Very good. Now, can you switch your own sentence, Claudia, to passive voice? Mm -hmm. 
A turkey was cooked by Roberto. Excellent, right? A turkey was cooked by Roberto. Very good. Uh, someone else to do the same sentence because you have different ideas, all right? Someone else to do number one. Anybody else for number one? I just changed the Roberto by Mauricio. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Mauricio, and you say Mauricio cooked the turkey or Mauricio cooked supper or what do you have? Uh, cooked the dinner. Okay, yeah, it's different. Okay, Mauricio cooked dinner. All right, and the uh, passive voice? Uh, dinner was cooked by Mauricio. By Mauricio, excellent, very good. Thank you. All right, let's see. Karen Reyes, can you do this, the second example, please, Karen? The guys uh, did the homework. Yes, very good. The guys and the children did the homework, aha. Uh -huh. Passive, uh, the, homework, the homework was done for, by guys. By the guys, very good. Or by the children. Very good, cutting. Nice. All right, very good. Someone else has it differently for number two? No? Any other ideas? Veronica, Maria? Excellent. I, yes, okay. Franklin, go ahead. The, the children did read the book. Oh, the children read the book. Read the book. Because it's active. Sorry. Uh, that's okay, that's okay. The children read the book. And in passive? Mm, the... Uh, the children was a uh, read the book. Okay, Franklin, remember the first is the uh, object, right? You would say the book. The book was a uh, read, 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 the children. The children. All right. Very good. Thank you. Let's see the other one here. We have three more. All right. We're just going to move this to the bottom. Carry, build, and teach is the same exercise. Okay. Can you try to do these sentences? Active and then passive.
Let me know when you guys finish, okay? Finish. All right, very good. What about the rest of you? Excellent. All right, let's Finish. see. Very good. Okay, so number one. Who wants to do number one? Someone that hasn't like participated much. Can you do this one for me, please? Okay. Ban Bania carried the box. Okay, very good. <laughs> and the box was carried by Bania. Excellent. It was carried by Bania. Very good. Yes, it carried. Very good. Thank you, Blanca. Nice. Someone else to do number two, please. Me? Yes, go ahead. Um, Antonio. Okay. Will you get my house? Antonio built my house. Okay. My house was built by Antonio. Okay, my house was built. The past participle, Maria, is built. Very good, thank you, all right. What about for the last one? Someone else to do the last one for me. Senia, Vania, Vero? Or anybody that wants to do number three for us? Me. Okay. Um, Jessica teach English to the student. Okay. Uh, the student was taught English by Jessica. All right, very good, a very good sentence, but we need to fix it a little bit. Jessica, okay. what is the what is the pass the simple pass for teach? Is taught. Excellent. So Jessica taught the students. Uh -huh. Very good, because it's simple pass, right? Jessica taught the students, and in this one, the students was taught English by Jessica. Okay. How many students? Only one or many? Uh, no. Where? Uh -huh. Excellent, okay. So the students were? Taught English by Jessica. Excellent, very good. That's better, all right? So you need to pay okay. attention. Yes, very good, thank you. Okay. You need to remember the plural or the singular, all yes. right? In this uh -huh. case, yes, very good. Thank you, that was a very good sentence. All right, someone else has it. I know you have it probably different. Someone else wants to share your sentences before we take attendance? No, it's okay? All right. Okay, do you guys have any questions about passive voice? No questions so far? Okay. Right, yesterday and today, we studied passive voice using by, all right? Like by Exa, by Claudia, by Alfred Nobel, by bro the Wright brothers, all right? Because we want to refer to who, to who is doing the action because we know, probably we know it, okay? Or we want to tell you who did it, all right? Tomorrow, we'll continue with some examples and some more exercises without the by, all right? I want you to work on the platform. The second topic is pronunciation. Um, I want you to work on that and listen to the pronunciation, and then tomorrow we can check those pronunciations. And I will send to you today this presentation I used, plus the uh, chart of the... Um, pronunciation for the ed sounds of the regular verbs okay i'm gonna take attendance right now i don't know if anyone has a question do you guys have any question whatsoever about the topic or about something else no no okay all right very good okay so let's see carla beatriz aguilar present thank you veronica beatriz celso Present teacher. Thank you. Osmani Exaú de León. Present. 
Fania Echel Deras de Cañas. I'm here. Thank you. Blanca Estela Marroquín. Present. Franklin de Jesús Martínez. Present. Thank you. Carla Joana Martínez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Giovanni Alberto Orantes Flores. He was here, but he was kicked out of the, uh, because of the connection. All right, very good. Gabriela Beatriz Reyes Ramirez. Present. Thank you, Gabi. Dalila Estela Silva Moran. She just texted on the group, okay. Maria Araceli Gonzalez Flores. Present. Thank you. Sinia Elizabeth Mejia. Present. Thank you, Sinia. Sofia Guadalupe Hernandez. Present. Thank you, Sofia. Juan Carlos Molina Martinez. He's not in. All right, Claudia Iliana Casum. Present. Thank you. All right, Brenda Lucia Rosales Guzman. She was on the on the group also. Karen Lisette Reyes. Present. Yes, thank you, Karen. All right, and Francisco Isaac Cabrera Mestizo. And he's not in right now. Okay, guys, very good. So. I hope that you understood the topic, all right? Please, if you have any questions, you may ask me, all right, on or here in class, or you can text me on the chat, or if you are a little shy, you can, uh, you know my number, it's there, so you can say, Jessica, can you help me? And I will help you, all right? So I'm gonna send the PowerPoint right now, okay? So you can see it and you can have it. And I hope you can work on the platform too. Please work on the pronunciation and then tomorrow we check it, okay? Thank you guys. Have a great day and I hope it doesn't rain much, okay? Please Thank be you. safe. Thank Thank you. You. Bye guys. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. Hi, teacher. Hi, Veronica. Teacher. Yes. Hi. I, uh, eh, para mañana, perdón, no, no comprendí si eh, la tarea. Eh, pero solo es, necesito que vean la plataforma para la pronunciación de la O, que está en la plataforma, porque la vamos a revisar. Y vamos a tener un par de ejercicios más por la pronunciación, ah, okay. nada más. Y luego con, seguimos con el passive voice sin el by. All right. Okay. Okay, Ready. very good. Thank yes. you, Vero. Have a nice day, Veronica. And